What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be working on another project that I've been sitting on for a while. It's 94 Honda Civic 4-door. Um, I had to run and drive it one time. Couldn't ever sell it. I uh, just let it sit in the yard and pretty much do nothing except collect dirt. But I tried to start it up yesterday and apparently the fuel pump seized up. Or at least I'm hoping or I think the fuel pump seized up. We're going to get in there and check and make sure it's got voltage to the pump and go from there. I got a new pump, sock. So uh, I'll show you what we're working with and we'll get started. All right, so this is it. It's uh, like I said, it's 94 four door. Um, it's pretty rough shape when I got it. Actually, um, fenders were beat to hell in the back, so I put new fenders, new headlights, a different hood on it. Um, but like I said, it, it was running at one time, we playing with it, so now we're gonna get back on it and see what's gonna happen. All right, so I got the battery back in the car. We're gonna try to see if we can hear the pump prime. Got the back seat out, pump exposed. Well, let's see. Nothing. Nothing at all. So we're gonna check the voltage first before I start pulling the pump. Cause I hate to pull a pump and then find out the pump's not bad. So let's check that up next. All right, so I got my pins forced into the connector and let's see what happens. And we're getting 12 volts to the pump. So in other words, 12 volts to the pump, pump shot. I probably been sitting for a while, it probably seized up. Um, probably gonna look and see what's inside the tank. See if it's any bad or maybe I have to drain the tank. Maybe the pool tank drain it. Hopefully not. Um, hopefully it doesn't look too bad in the tank. Maybe just pump seized up. So uh, let's go ahead and get started in the pump part. All right, everybody, so pump's in. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we had a bad pump or not. I'm pretty sure we did. Let's see. Oh yeah, you can hear the pump. It was definitely a dead pump. Uh, it was pretty rusty looking, so probably pretty bad. So now we're gonna try to start it up. Let's see what happens. All right, so it's trying to start. And she's alive. All right, everybody, so it's the next day. Um, Got the car washed and cleaned up. Got it running around pretty decent. Um, I'm going to swap the wheels out on it. I don't like the wheels that are on it. I'm going to put something a little different on it. Um, and then probably going to work on sanding the car down a little bit and getting it primed. Um, fender fenders definitely need to be primed. They are brand new fenders. They got eco crap on it and they're starting to rust already through that crap. So probably going to get them off, get them sanded down, get them primed, and then put back on. So let's get started. All right, so let's talk about what we're going to be swapping over to. Um, right now, the car has a 17-inch R-Tech. I don't even know who the company. I guess that's the company, or maybe. Um, anyways, this wheel is very Fast and Furious one style. Not very. Don't like it very much. It's actually a very heavy wheel. Surprisingly, it's very heavy. So what we're going to be swapping to is these are OZ racing wheels. Um, they're made by Inky. These come on the, I think it's called the Rally Art Lancer. I think that's what it's called. But anyways, um, they have a super, super high positive offset. They also are four by, what is it, four by 114. Of course, all Civics are four by 100. So I have to run an adapter, which is no big deal because I actually would have to run a spacer anyways to get these wheels to fit. So um, I have them on my EK at one point in time. I'll try to post a picture here and then um, we'll get ahead and move on to getting the wheels swapped out. All right, so I got the wheels on now. Um, now I'm gonna do a little rough alignment check on it and see how bad it is. I'm pretty sure it's pretty bad. I remember the first the wheels that were on it originally when it came here. 
they were pretty bad. So prongs were shot. The real ones seem to be doing pretty decent. So we're gonna check them and see how bad it is off. All right, so the front of the wheel is about five foot nine inches um, apart. The back of the wheel on the other hand is way off. Uh, that's a, what, that's about five foot eight, probably three quarters of an inch. So yeah, it's definitely towed out pretty bad the front. So we're gonna get, re get ready to uh, get under there and get that fixed. All right, so I got the alignment kind of close to where I wanted it to be. Um, I'm going to back it out. I'm going to pull the fenders off of it. As you can see, one's already off of it. And I'm going to probably prime them, put them back on. They have that, they're brand new fenders. They have that eco crap on them. If you know anything about that eco stuff, it does not last very long if you don't go ahead and sand it and prime it. So I'm going to scuff them up, put some filler primer on them so they can be wet sanded back down. I'll probably edge prime it. I'm sorry, I'm going to edge prime it. Then turn around and put primer filler on them and then put them back on the car. Driver fender primed and put back on. We also got the passenger fender primed and put back on. And also did this spot right here. You can look, it's kind of pitting. Even now it looks like it may be trying to rust through. Um, I'm gonna pull this tail light and see what's behind it. Uh, seam sealer may have rust behind it, so I may go ahead and fix that. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video on this car. Um, this car probably might not even be here by the next time you see it on the next video it may even be gone by then i got a buddy that's interested in it and i've uh, sold a few things and got a little money so i may be buying a new project on the next one so if you like what you're seeing please like comment and subscribe for more and we'll catch you next time